Hey guys, listen, I have some exciting news. Samsung released an updated version of Bixby and let me show you. Hey Bixby, bring my phone over here. Wow, so automated, right? <laughs> of course, that's a joke, but it's not a joke that there is a new Bixby version and I'm gonna show you in this video what you'll expect to find there. So, we have first new design. Bixby brand new compact and flexible design takes up less screen space and improves the overall conversational experience. Thank you, my cat, for freeing up my working place. Thank you. Second update. Conversation screen recommendations. Try out new things with Bixby personal life recommendations on the conversation screen. We're gonna be testing this. Last but not least, simplified Spotify authentication. Maybe one of the best things out there, specifically if you're a user like me, I'm paying for a Spotify subscription so that I can use Spotify on my Google Home Mini and I can broadcast Spotify on my Chromecast and you know the drill, right? So connect your Spotify account quickly with the new simplified authentication say just play Spotify to get started. But first things first, we need to update Bixby. So we need to go to Bixby, voice settings, then about Bixby voice, and then, yeah, update, uh, logical, right? Click update. Version that I'm using right now is 3.1.19.2.6. Okay, there is a new version. So let's try to press the update button. You're gonna get redirected to the Galaxy Store and you can just see it's almost like 60 megabytes update. And what's new is pretty much what I've read to you. So improved conversation experience, there is a new UI and also the option for you to use Spotify, which for me is really very nice. And then of course you have here some options that are telling you what you can do with Big C. I'm gonna show this in the video, guys. And if you're here for the first time or you're watching these videos but you're not subscribed, you might want to reconsider subscribing and hit the bell icon as well. This will guarantee that every time I do post a new video, yeah, you're gonna get notified. What's in for you? Don't ask me, but everybody's saying this, so I'm saying this as well. You can see all the videos that I'm doing right now. I do a lot of fun stuff on a lot of technologies. All right, now back to Bixby. Bixby is updated, so I'm gonna open it, okay? Inside the new Bixby, we're gonna go again one more time to notices, just to see here. Bixby July updates, right? And there is something called Bixby July urgent updates. We are the 18th of July, so this is only four days old, and there are some bug fixes. Let's press again the update button to just check the latest version. It is 3.1.2.0.2, so this is indeed the latest version. All right, Bixby has been updated, so it's time to demonstrate the new interface. Hey, Bixby. All right, so you can see it is really very small here, like a very small card appearing on your phone and kind of looks nice when you speak. You can just see this bar interacting. Hey, Bixby, what is the time right now? It's 15.16. Okay. Hey, Bixby, what is the temperature right now? You have two weather capsules. Ooh, okay. Do you want to use AccuWeather or the Weather Channel? Let's use the AccuWeather. Got it. Should I always use AccuWeather for weather? Yes. Yes. Do you agree to provide location data to AccuWeather to process requests? Yes. Yellow warning for thunderstorms Ooh. in effect until Monday, 12 a.m. Okay. Currently in Sofia, Bulgaria, it is cloudy and 32 yeah. degrees. And that's quite right. I can tell I'm sweating really like a pig here. But you see the cards has been redesigned and they appeal more. They don't take the whole screen and you can just dismiss them like this. It's quite nice and convenient. Let me just show you guys now the second thing, the second improvement, which is really interacting with these recommendations that do appear directly on the Bixby card. Hey, Bixby. There are camera controls, you can set up the color, you can take selfies. There are a lot of things that you can do and they're recommended. Let's try to do a selfie. Hey Bixby, take a selfie. <laughs> okay, this has worked. Now let me show you a cool trick. Hey Bixby, close the camera. You need to update Bixby All right. basic commands. This is very important, guys. Feature. If you want to use more advanced features, you need to update the Bixby basic commands. So just do the way I do. You're going to get redirect to the Galaxy Store or you can just go inside Galaxy Store and update the Bixby basic commands. I'm going to hit the update button. And let's see if Bixby then is going to be able to close the camera. So I'm going to tell Bixby to open the camera, do a selfie and then tell Bixby to close the camera. If this works, congratulations. And Bixby is really very clever. All right. Installed, gonna close everything. Hey Bixby, take a selfie. All 
Okay. Hey Bixby. Close the camera. Camera has closed. Perfect. What more can you want, right? It's just really very intuitive. These personal recommendations that appear are very useful. You can set an alarm. You can check the status of your lights if you have smart lights. You can also take screenshot selfies. So it's kind of very nice and you just have to wake up Bixby and just, you know, point with a finger. Very useful. Or use your voice, of course. And now, guys, the moment of shoot. We're going to be testing the Spotify integration. So the way you start it, you just need to wake up Bixby and yeah, just follow me. Hey, Bixby. Play Spotify. This capsule isn't available on your device. Mm -hmm. All right, so you've seen the attempt for me to ask Bixby to use Spotify. That really didn't work and the reason is that I'm based in Europe. Right now, what we know is that Bixby supports Spotify only in the area of the US. I'm not sure why. Or I'm not sure if that's the case 100%, but that's what I've read. Now, let me just show you something. I've opened Bixby, I've changed my region to the United States using a VPN, and this is the VPN that I'm using here. Let me just show you guys. I'm using a free VPN, it's called VPN Super Unlimited Proxy, and I use that to connect to the United States. I've opened Bixby, okay, let me just share what I did I, like this application info for stop Bixby. When also to storage, clear the cache, clear the data to make sure that Bixby will forget what had been used before. And now I'm starting Bixby connected to the VPN for the first time. See? Bixby now is starting. Welcome, Welcome to, Bixby. to Bixby. Okay. Now there is a very important step. Before, I was not presented with any option for a region. Second time I did a setup, I was able to go and choose the S21 and choose another region. If you use the VPN, this could also happen for you. And now in the marketplaces for all capsules, when I go here to music and audio, you can just see I have Spotify, I have plenty of options. Before, I had only three options available. So now finally, I'm able to demonstrate how Spotify integration works. Hey Bixby, play Queen from Spotify. Playing the Spotify playlist, Queen. See? The very famous UK band Queen. Very nice album cover. Yeah, and I think the music is really recognized. Just gonna go now and reduce the volume to avoid any copyright strikes. Guys, this has been the new Bixby design and all the new three features that I've showed you. The new interface, the new personal recommendations, integrated Spotify now, very nice with the album art. I've also shown you a fix to bypass this country restrictions and hopefully you can use also the Spotify capsule with your Bixby account. If you have liked the video, you know what to do. I'm gonna say one more time, Bixby, put my phone away. And guys, please stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. VST over and...